Did you know there's actually like five different types of acid that you can actually pick up within wines? No. These are the five acids that you can pick within wines. First one, most common is tartaric acid. It is the most prominent uh, in wine. Think Sauvignon Blanc, that kind of zippy, fresh, crisp type mm-hmm. of acid. I think that's the kind of acid that we kind of like. So next one is malic acid. So think like green apples, often coming from like kind of unripe grapes, that type of acid. Think young Riesling or kind of cool climate Chardonnay has that kind of acid, that malic acid. And then what people often do with malic acid, they go through malolactic fermentation to lactic acid. So lactic acid, otherwise called MLF, creates those buttery notes in Chardonnay. Examples, oak Chardonnays from you know, Napa, Margaret River, and also like Merceau in uh, Burgundy. But it is that kind of buttery, kind of creamy type of acidity that you get in some of those wines. Next one, acetic acid, which is the acid in vinegar which is not Mm. the kind of acid that I guess I like, Um, but often uh, referred to as VA as a volatile acidity. So you don't want to have wine kind of taste like vinegar, but you do kind of get elements of that in some of the kind of older style Barolos, Mm. that kind of VA that people kind of like, but not too much. Too much of it, yeah. And the last one is uh, citric acid. It's common in young rosés or inexpensive white wines where they actually add citric acid into it. So citrus, lemon, lime, zing into it to get that, kind of, I guess, aromas, perfumes, and the and the citric flavors coming through in the wine. 